So today we're going to carry on with the Island Only Nation Challenge. If you didn't see part one, this is how much we got so far. I did ask last time, do we need to get the UK? People said yes. So I think that's how we're going to wrap this up if we get powerful enough. We're going to take all of England, Scotland, Ireland and Wales. But first, we do have a few more islands left to get. There's a couple down here and this little guy right there. And there's some more there and there's one here. So to make this a little bit quicker, these sort of islands that are a part of a county that are on mainland, we're not going to bother they get in. We still need to get this one. Sri Lanka is connected by land bridge, so we need to get the Maldives. That's not connected. And yeah, these guys don't actually, nothing there. Just, just chilling there. Empty. And of course, there is some next to Sweden as well, so we'll need to get these three. And I think that may be it. Maybe missing one, I hope not. But first, a massive thank you to Vikings War of Clans for sponsoring this video. They asked me to give the game a go and see what I think. It's completely free anyway. And with the Viking era being one of my favorite time periods, I had a great time playing Vikings War of Clans. And I'm sure you will too. It's a free to play online strategy game where you can wage wars against other players to become the one true Viking commander. You get to build your very own Viking settlements from the ground up, build a large army of shield maidens, berserkers, horsemen and raiders to take on hostile creatures, capture important resources or even to go raiding other players settlements in exciting PvP battles. And don't worry, the game is still constantly updated and it's just about to celebrate its 7th anniversary which will bring the world of Jotunheim, a world of eternal ice filled with giants. And during this event you can relocate there and compete in a tournament and new players receive a boost to help you get started. So if this sounds good to you, help support the channel and download Vikings for free using my links in the description and become a hero of exciting events in the world of Vikings. And don't forget to find me in game. To start things out, look, we're doing pretty good. We're 72. This guy's life has been pretty amazing. A decent income. We have disinherited our two older sons, so we are going to be this guy next. He's quick, but he has married someone from Wessex who is a genius. Now, Wessex don't actually own all of England, but hopefully soon they will. But... To start things out today, we're going to start moving down here. Let's make a claim on this county right here. And we need to get this as well. Now, I did notice our nephew has the county next to it and he does have a claim on it. So if we declare war, we can push our nephew's claims. Then he'll own all of this, which works fantastically for me. We should need just our men at arms. I don't think this guy is going to be much of a problem. If our men at arms hurry up. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, there we are. Ooh, our... Uh... Maybe our oldest son, I think. Looks like he's going to die. He's one-eyed, ill, and severely injured. Well, um, we probably could do with a physician anyway, so let's get the best one. Okay, neither of them are good. Yeah, okay, we'll just get you then. <laughs> nice. Okay, we saved our son. Oh, has he been disfigured? He has. I'm wounded. Oh, no. You're our heir, so... No, we want to look after you. Outliving a child. Oh, okay, he did die. Well, rest in peace. I mean, we don't need you anyway. Nice. 100% because we captured him. So, enforce that. Disband. And now our nephew should rule all of that, which is great. And of course, at some point, we do need to get our freedom. I'm not going to do it just yet. We're just not quite powerful enough. Oh, we did just unlock household soldiers as well. So we can upgrade our men at arms a little bit more. Okay, let's unlock economic buildings for this era because we've done a fair bit of upgrading. Especially to our capital, we have the mines. Can ask our head of faith for gold. There's another 600 gold. That's going to go pretty far away into our men at arms. We'll let's take all our money that we can demand as well. Even if it's just nothing, let's just take it all. Nice. So we're full now our men at arms as well. Got a pretty decent army now. Okay, we got the claim. So now we can go to war against this guy. He's not independent. So it's going to be, you know, a bit tougher than I was hoping. So we might wait a little while. And probably just bring a couple mercenaries with us. Why is she not in our court? Why is she wandering? No, you need to have children, like, what are you doing? Oh, God. All right, so I just raised all our troops and called all our allies. He's called a lot of allies as well. Okay, this is going to be a lot tougher than I was hoping. I'm going to hold out here and wait for my allies, to be honest. I think that's probably the smart way to go about things. I'm going to grant my son a title as well. He has no titles, so I might as well grant him something. May maybe improve his skills or do something useful, because probably pretty soon we're going to, like, become him, because we're probably going to die soon. Now, hopefully she'll... Yeah, she's there, so hopefully they have a genius son, please. Ooh, and we can hire the Holy Order, so let's get them hired as well. God, there's even more people that might join. Stop. Where are my allies? Are they coming or what? No, I don't I don't think our allies are even bothering to come. But right, it's beach right here. Let's make our way around and hopefully let's get rid of this disembarkment. Oh, there's a lot of them. Right, we should be able to defeat this guy right here and a 
attempt on my life. Ah, that makes sense. My only son in line. And yeah, he's ambitious. He is 43, so he did try to kill me. I'm not going to punish him because, I mean, we're going to be playing as him pretty soon. Oh my god, allies. We got destroyed. How is this guy so powerful? Didn't stand a chance. I thought that was in the bag. Easy. Yeah, there's so many of them. We actually cannot beat them. Okay, so we had to surrender. So we're 1,300 gold in debt. That's really bad. Okay, I was. I thought, you know what? Easy, we got this. No, apparently not. Now there's a peasant faction, of course. Like, come on. Oh, we can ask the head of faith for gold. That's gonna give us 700. Okay, it's not so bad. We shouldn't be in debt too long. But right, let's extort subjects. Why not? We need gold. Usually you get more for the second option, but no, we're getting 245 gold either way. So. Okay, we're almost out of debt. Who thyself close to the end? Yeah, he's had two sons. So we're going to play as this guy for a little while, which is, it should be all right. He's not the worst, not the best. There we are. So you have died. 81, not a bad life. And the guy we were playing as now is 47. And we got a new son. We got three sons already, so we got a lot of choice. We still need to get this, which we did actually fail, like massively. And they, it's, they're just very powerful, so we may not be able to get that anytime soon. Oh, we can actually upgrade the mines. So that's going to give us five gold a month and more development growth. Definitely. We are also converting the culture of the rest of this island so we can get the next level buildings, basically. Okay, so we just got the claim for this, so we're going to start the war. Should be fairly easy. We raised our holy order and our men at arms. Of course, yeah, with this guy being independent, it's not a problem. I'm just hoping it gets us within diplomatic range of her. So then we can take this and then hopefully get the Maldives. And then, yeah, we're done with this part of the map, really. Then we can kind of go and mess around with these guys all up here. Um, I mean, we got a lot of money and nothing to really spend it on. So we're going to try and commission a crown. See how that turns out. 100% because we captured him. Great. Enforce that. Disband. And yeah, we'll just give this away to somebody and hope, please. Yes, right? Yeah, okay. So now we're going to get the claim down here. Hopefully, it's, well, it's going to take 18 months. Not too bad. And hopefully, we can take that island as well. Inspiration realized. Let's have a look. Pretty terrible. I mean, powerful vassal opinion plus one. Plus one. Really? Wow. <laughs> I always find that, though. Every time I actually go and commission the artifact, it ends up being really bad. Okay, so we can get this claim. Let's do it. Let's see. Hopefully, this should be another easy wall. A little bit more powerful, but I think we're... We're powerful enough to win. Okay, we're going to be a bit risky. We'll command the army ourselves, And I think it might be a good idea to actually move to a medicine focus. Because, yeah, we're, we're kind of old. We are 58. So, probably a good idea. Because our son is, what, 14? So, we don't want to die anytime soon. 100%, we captured it. Great. We're getting lucky with these captures, that's for sure. And, yeah, same thing. We are going to need to just give this away. Now, if this doesn't get us in range of the Maldives, I don't know what we're going to do. Okay, then. Considering we're a little bit out of range, we'll come back to that later. Something I actually almost forgot about was Venice. So, yeah, let's fabricate a claim. Maybe we'll get this next. And then, yeah, we'll get a move on up kind of this direction. We may need to, like, take some land sort of in the middle because we can't reach them otherwise, though. Okay, my son come of age. He got Midas touched. So, actually, fairly decent. Okay, the only genius is very old, so we <laughs> don't want to be doing that. He's intelligent, so I think if there's two intelligence together, there is a chance they have a genius child. So we'll try it and see how it turns out. Nice, we got the claim, so let's go for this. I think we should win. Right, saying we should win, we are going to have to take, you know, the debuff because we are disembarking. But, I mean, there's nothing else we can really do. But as long as we win, that's all that matters. Here we are. We capture him again. Like, we are genuinely getting incredibly lucky with these captures. We'll make a claim down here. We'll make it on the smallest county, so this one. Because, obviously... Once we're not a vassal anymore, we'll give these away so they're not part of our realm. Because, you know, we, we don't want land that's not an island. Like this up here, we just can't give it away because we're still a vassal. Okay, so we just got the claim. So if we declare war, it's saying we are about twice as powerful as them. So we are going to have to do this just to get the diplomatic range really is the only reason. And I imagine pretty soon we will guard independence and be able to give all these little guys in their own independence. Okay, we're just going to board them all onto the county we need. And we may as well just send some of them to go and get the capital as well. Let's try and get this over with as quick as possible. Okay, so we've basically sieged all we need. And this is how much we have to split up just to not have tons of attrition, which is insane. Okay, 100% finally. Let's end that. And please... Yeah, so we got diplomatic range of all these. So these are going to be our next focus. So I was just looking through all my children. I think we need to disinherit everyone but the oldest son. Now, this is going to be expensive, but we, we, we just need to do it. So now, yeah, succession is fixed for the next go. Oh, that is so good. 
So we got very lucky here. Yeah? We got a claim on the whole duchy. So maybe we get all the islands in one go. So yes, let's go for it all. Pretty powerful, but not powerful enough. And it's great now as we can raise some here as well. I, don't know, I feel kind of cheaty doing this, but I mean, there's nothing else we can really do unless we became like Norse and unlock those dynasty legacies. But yeah, this is fine, I think. Oh, so we can become the owner of a hummus recipe. Medium health boost, which is insane. Just for 40 gold? Yes. Oh, 100%. Great. So, enforce that. Now look at us. So our land now is... It's looking pretty great. We do need to do what we just done down this way. So we may have to, like, go to war with... We can reach you for some reason. So yeah, we're going to have to go to war with this guy. But look how powerful he is. His allies have 16,000 strength. Excuse me. That's absolutely insane. <laughs> we might have to deal with that a little bit later. Right, so we just got a claim on Orland. Is that... I think that's how you say that, right? I may be butchering it, but yeah, we got a claim on this guy. This shouldn't be too bad. We're going to go by sea. It's going to take a little while. That's fine. But at least now within this guy's life, we have a little foothold over here. So we can quickly take out over this, take over Iceland. Then, then the fun begins, right? Oh, I didn't realize we have unlocked armored footmen. So after this war, I think I will get some of them as well. Definitely worth it. Okay, let's board right there and let's go straight for them. I think that's them and all their allies. So once they're gone, yeah, they're done for. 100%. Nice. So at least now, once we do die, we've already got the foothold that we need. So let's replace our light horsemen. And we're going to replace them with armored ones. Yes, that's going to make us a fair bit more powerful. Oh, and we can replace these as well. So let's do that because, yeah, we need some faster sieges also. Um, What has happened? What is this? So somehow my vassal is no longer my vassal because... They took all of this. Okay, this is cursed. What is going on? Please stop. So we are going to have to take that island back at some point. Don't like what is going on here. I, no, stop, please. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about that too much anyway. We've got some other stuff to deal with right now. Nice, we've got another claim up here as well. Hopefully we get the rest of the little islands in this guy's life. Okay, so we got that as well. So yeah, I'm hoping, but we are currently 73. Our health is now once again poor. But there's a few more islands up here. So there's one more here. We need to get that and right here and i think maybe yeah so there's three more in denmark we do also need to get as well so we're gonna grab this one first grab these two and then yeah we'll probably end up going for denmark after that so we need to go at war with finland oh you're terrible yeah we are murdering you definitely you are actually awful please stop nice yeah he was killed so 17 that's way better I can live with 17. Okay, so the time has come for war with Finland. Probably the most powerful guy we've fought. Well, I mean, there was that guy down here who somehow just destroyed us. But we'll pretend that didn't happen. So we'll get the war target first. And then, yeah, we'll go siege their capital, fight them and all that sort of stuff. Okay, there's 7,000 of them coming in. Our army should be way, way better. Oh, come on, please. Yes, okay. The game does that to me so much. It says, oh, yeah, easy win, easy win. And then when... And then just as they're about to fight, it changes. That, that stressed me out for a second there. Know thyself close to the end. So yeah, we have one year left. Hopefully in this year, we can just end this war at least. I mean, a decent age, let's be honest. And we get to play as this 32-year-old who has a pretty decent son. Ah, he's shy though. Okay, not so decent. You need more. Oh, you know what? We might as well then extort subjects if we're about to die. 300 gold. 500? Yeah, let's go 500. So we got to put an end to that war before we died. So that means, yeah, next life, we need to get this off Estonia. Shouldn't be too difficult. I mean, he's fairly powerful, but we should manage that. And there's just a couple more bits we do need to get off Denmark. And then once we've got Denmark, these are going to be no problem at all. And there it is. So we are 33. Chronic headaches. Okay, that's not a good sign. Okay, let's actually reset the perks. We are going to go into learning because we desperately need scientific. And then, yeah, we're going to go down here, get all these bonuses. We are going to max out our court as well because I want to start getting more inspired characters. We have terrible artifacts. So, you know... I think we should fix that, considering we got quite a lot of money. Yeah, we. I think we do need more sons. We got one that could end up being good, but I think this guy is just a write-off, to be honest. He's shy. I don't want to deal with that. Okay, so we just got the claim against Estonia. They've got even more powerful. They're actually... Yeah, they're very powerful. Why? They have a lot of levies. I don't know why they're so powerful, though, to be honest. Just very powerful family. Okay, so we're making a claim over here. Hopefully, we're going to get a duchy claim. So, we can get these three in one go. And then we just want to get that one. And yeah, we do already have the claim on Estonia. So, I'm going to go for that now. What happened to his Estonia? 
It was just usurped. And this guy is way weaker. Okay, I'm okay with that, actually. It's great for me. So, yeah, let's go for it right now. We're just going to raise our men arms, and that should be enough. Oh, and our heir is unmarried. Now, hopefully, we, yeah, we don't need this heir because he's not great. But we'll try and find him a decentish marriage if we can, at least. My sister, uh, no, we won't be doing that. You know what? She's 27, this woman, and she has Amazonian. So let's go for that. No way did we capture this guy as well. Wow. Okay, we're still getting very lucky with these captures. We're going to grant that away. Another success. Okay, so we've just started a dissolution faction. Hopefully, some other guys join. I don't know if they will, but, I mean, we'll have it there and just hope. Okay, 18. Yeah, that's way better. Hopefully, he can get us a duchy claim now. But we're not getting a duchy claim, so let's just go for the county. I mean... That's probably our best bet at this point. So we're going to do that. Let's get, just get the ball rolling at least. Okay, nice. Yeah, we got that quite easy. They're quite weak right now dealing with some other walls. But yeah, we need to give this away because we don't need it. So let's give that away. Oh, we're in range of this guy now as well. And we can actually buy a claim on Iceland for 500 piety. So let's do that. And in a second, we'll go up and get that as well. That's very big for us. Okay, so we've built our troops back up. Let's go for it. Should be an easy war. But last time I said that, we got embarrassed. So let's not go there. Oh, and yeah, I did forget to say, Brunlock in truth is relative. Because, look, we're going to need some help for this. So, you know, if we just fabricate some hooks on some more of the most powerful people, force them to join us, and I'm sure we can get rid of the... The Empire. Okay, that scheme ended straight away. We got found out, so we're just going to move down the list. Okay, 100% on that. Great. So we, now we do have Iceland. Look at that. <laughs> Our kingdom goes far and wide, that's for sure. Oh yeah, we do need to give it away. Shouldn't be a problem. Okay, so before it's too late, yeah, we are going to disinherit this guy as well. So then everything should go to our other son. There's an 11-year-old genius there. It's not too long to wait before he has children. He's only 19, so I'm happy enough to try that. Okay, so we got off. First strong hook. Oh, he's in prison. Why? Please let him go. Oh my god. Why is he in prison? Come on, game. D don't do this. I need him to help me. Like, what is this? Oh no. All our schemes are getting discovered. Like, this is going awfully. Right. It's almost 10:50 though. So once that happens, we'll unlock the next men at arms things. We'll completely upgrade our men at arms, and I think we should be able to do it on our own by then. I I hope. Okay, so we can actually Holy War for the rest of this duchy. I'm going to do that now because, yeah, they are very weak. Uh, we probably just need our men-at-arms to quickly do this. Nice. Okay, enforce that. And we do have all the islands up here now, as you can see. Ooh, and it is 1050. So, we've oh, got to wait six more years. Great, yes. Fantastic. More waiting. Okay, so we can buy a duchy claim on all these. So, yeah, we may as well just go for this right now then. We've got a little bit of waiting around to do. So... Seems like a good idea. We also now have a pretty ridiculous amount of gold and like nowhere to really spend it, to be honest, until we basically progress our culture's innovations. We have more buildings and more men arms to have. But other than that, right now, we're just holding the gold. But yeah, we got another one. You know what? Let's try and abduct this guy. Yeah, we're going to try it. He has a claim on all of Alba. So if we abduct him, we can push his claim. And we have all the money in the world to just bribe everyone. 85% chance, pretty good. So let's hope we get some lucky events with it and we successfully get him. Scheme discovered, oh my god, why? This game. No, literally the worst event that could have happened. You know what, it's only a 15% chance, but let's try it. Please. Did I get him? It hasn't told me. Ready, I don't know what's going on. It's just staying ready. It's just stuck on ready. And it's been a while. Did we invite someone else to... Fix it? I don't know. What is it? What is going on? What? What was that? So with this guy, our income is down quite a lot. As instead of being my liege's steward, I'm now his um, spy master. So that's going to give us a little boost to our hostile schemes. We kind of need to do a bit of scheming on this guy. Like a lot of these, we need to basically abduct people, force them to join our court, and then push their claims. So in that way, we can do big walls. Otherwise, it's just going to be kind of small stuff. And it's going to take forever. But, you know, no one wants to deal with that. And now we have pretty big faction to deal with. <laughs> Things are going great. Yes. Right. Who's the leader? You. Where are you? Right there. Okay. Okay. So we're going to have to raise all our troops and hope we win this, really. But this was an absolutely brutal fight with so many injured on both sides. But we did win, which is what matters. Now, we're going to try and start sieging. I'd happily take a white piece, to be honest, if they're going to give it to us. Okay. Another battle. What up? 36%. I'm just going to white piece and end it. We don't want to be dealing with that. Okay. Good. Okay. 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 That could have been a lot worse. 
We also, yeah, got to claim on one of this guy's counties because, yeah, I think it's the only way we're going to reach the Maldives, to be honest. So we're going to go for this. Okay, we are finally in the high medieval era. So we're going to try and get this so we can get some more men at arms because we need a bigger army. Nice. This puts us in range of the Maldives. Shall we try? Yeah, great. So we're going to start making a claim down there and go for that as soon as we get it. Because then at least we know we're done with this part of the map. Oh, shall we do it? There's a dissolution faction and more people have actually joined. Yeah, we could press this right now. Let's go for it. Then war it is. Oh, indeed it is. Let's go. We've been waiting for this for so long. So, raise all men at arms. We're going to raise the rest there. You might as well buy some mercenaries as well. We'll tag them on with our men at arms. So this is going to be like our insane army. These guys here. We're going to go for his capital straight away. If we can dissolve the Byzantine Empire, that's insane. So let's hope we can get this done. May not get a better chance than this though, to be honest. Right, we're boarding. It's going to take a while. Oh, this is great. I've been waiting to see this for so long. All our allies have jumped on as well. That's going to be huge. And we've unlocked the ability to abduct. So let's have a look. I would like to get island first, but maybe Alba is a good way because they're, you know, weaker. But there's no one good actually to take Alba. How about island? Oh, this guy will actually just join. Oh, okay. So yeah, we might be able to get island in a sec as well then. Things are finally starting to happen for us. And we got our claim on the Maldives. But let's focus on this for now. Now it's up 71% just off, what, two counties? Oh, 100%. Enforced demands. Oh, look at that. And yes, we are now finally independent. Problem is, yeah, we obviously are going to have no chance of getting an empire really unless, well, yeah, I suppose until we do get all of Britannia. Because we've got no chance of getting 80 or more realms of just islands. Because I think we're missing like two. Okay, I just counted this four year we will need to get. Yes, so we can push this guy's claims. And he has a claim on all of Ireland. And we should be able to win this as well. This is huge. Let's go straight on for the capital. And let's just start sieging absolutely everywhere. I think that's the quickest way to go about this. You left my court. Why? What? I was literally just about to make you the king of Ireland, and you just went to the Pope's court. Excuse me? Why would you leave? Surely you'd be like, oh yeah, this guy's literally about to make me a king. Uh, you know what? I think I'll stay with him. But instead, uh, I'm just gonna go visit the Pope. Bye. You've left to go be a musician instead of being the king of Ireland. I hate you. I actually hate you. I can't believe that. Anyway, moving on. Let's just go for the Maldives. That is, that is tragic. Why? 100% on that. So now we do have the Maldives. Which means, yeah, we can let this guy go. So we need to grant it to someone random. And then we're going to give this guy independence just like that. So we only have islands like we said. And that does remind me, you. Yes, you we can't grant you independence. Oh, you have a lot of land down there. Okay, that's a problem. Okay, we'll have to leave you for now then. Okay, so we got a strong hook on him. Invite to court. Use hook. Yes. Okay, now we can declare war for island. But you know what? For today, I am going to leave that there. We've got like every island i think so if you want a part three let me know and in part three gonna be pretty difficult and long i think we still need to get yeah all of this at least though we do have the guy so we can get island as soon as we start of course if you want to see more and then we gotta do the same for england there's no one really good because he's a count so that's not gonna be as useful Oh, he's dead. Why are you showing up? There's no one with a claim on all of England, which is fantastic. And there's no one good for Albert either. They're all women. And yeah, it's not going to be as great. But let me know, because I may have missed some islands. Because we haven't had a, like a long running sort of series on the channel for ages. So, you know what? Three parts seems like a good idea. But thank you all so much for watching. And of course, a massive thank you to Arcane, Intermio1 and Victor Voss Anderson.